guys. Welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. It's Dan, and I'm back on the Hitman Labs All the Mod 6 server, and I've just been doing some cleanup stuff. So I actually got things in pretty good shape. I've got just a bunch of junk here. This is just kind of a little shed that I made. I thought it was kind of cool. It looks cool at night. I don't know. We'll see. I'll see if I'll leave it, but I just thought it looked cool. It's kind of like me just shoving stuff into a into a shed, which is kind of what I would do in real life. <laughs> These barrels are just like, this is an apple and that's a crate of carrots. Um, I just thought that was kind of cool. You just make make those with uh, like nine carrots or nine apples. But anyway, yeah. been cleaning up and getting ready for this episode. I got a lot of stuff I want to do today. Um, some just kind of messing around and then one kind of bigger plan. Um, one of the first things I want to do, actually, I want to craft this like extension arm thing from Create. So I'll show you, I, I did a little set up in here i haven't got everything organized but i've got i mean i don't have that much right now so i've got most of this ready to go um, i added a few things probably since you guys saw this last i can't remember where we laughed it laughed it where we left it one thing i added let me show you real quick um, i needed a way to be able to smelt stuff because i have a couple of issues but like i had some dust laying around that i wanted to be able to smell so if i throw this in here it gets put on there and all that thing is is the like bulk I don't know, blasting or whatever, right? So there's just a lava block there, which is, you know, far enough away it's not going to burn the wood. And then a um, an encased fan right there, and that's just blowing directly into that, uh, that depot, just like it does with the washing. And that ends up smelting stuff. And then I'm just using the same belt here. So I just kind of cram stuff together. I thought about reorganizing all this, but I actually kind of like it the way it is. Like, it looks like this is what I would do, right? Like, I, I had a really good plan, and then I started adding stuff on, and then it just kind of got crammed into the corner, and this is kind of the way everything would – this is the way things would end up in real life for me. So let me just – I'll get a couple of things going here and show you. So I, I did fix some of the issues that we had before. Um, so you know how it was kind of overflowing, right? So I'd put stuff in there, and then it would – this thing was running really fast, and this was getting just, like, backed up. I think two things were happening. I watched the video back. And I've, I've experimented a little bit since then. I think maybe there was like some lag issues or something weird in the way this thing takes blocks in. And it was like just dumping a ton of them out at once. Like it wouldn't dump any out for a while. And then it would just dump a ton of nuggets out. Um, so I slowed this down. And I slowed basically everything down to try and get the, all the stress impact lower. Because this a lot of this stuff is running off that same thing. I actually slowed that down i think anyway the point is that after i've slowed that down i've had no problems now so this all works pretty good this thing i sped up it's running at 768 so you'll see here in a second that thing just kind of cranks on those and that was really kind of the bottleneck um all right so what's going on here <laughs> it's gonna prove me wrong what are those things and why won't they go in so that is zinc nuggets sometimes like if i don't take all the nuggets out I don't know if you can get overloaded with like leftover nuggets because it's supposed to basically just take all the junk that's left and just leave it in there so that next time you come and do some smashing, it'll it'll work. But anyway, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. So anyway, it's no longer getting overloaded and it seems to be working pretty well. If I put you know the stuff in there, it just gets smelted up here. Um, I can put pretty much whatever I want. So what I'm doing is just kind of adding to this filter. Right now it just has charcoal and ingots um, because I've been using it to make some charcoal. But it's this. I'm not going to use this that much anyway. The one thing I was trying to do, so I got crushed platinum. Um, if you look at this, there's no uses for this in the system at all. Uh, and it's weird. I think there's something wrong with the recipe. So the it will crush it, but it won't actually smelt it or turn it into nuggets and smash it or do anything like that. So whatever. Um, all right, so there's another piece just chilling there. So maybe this is just getting backed up. Maybe you just have too much junk in there. I don't know. We'll look into that. Okay. So the other thing I wanted to do was make this like, extendo hand thing. I think if I go like this... And what is it like? One, two, three, four, five, six, and that, and that, I think. Let's see what that does. There we go. So that's going to make this extendo hand. I think that thing's going to be pretty cool. Um, we'll see what it looks like, but it's supposed to let you, it basically is, it's kind of like block reach, and I have those enchantments, but I just thought it would be cool to make this thing anyway. So you guys get to see this thing craft. That's awesome. So there's our extendo. So let's see, what can we do with it? Can we open a chest? We can. Okay, so no, you can't really... I don't know if it's opening that chest further than it would normally. Yeah, so I've definitely... I can't reach from there. 
but I can with that. So it's kind of just like the reach enchantment, I guess. Let's see. Increases reach distance of used in main hand. What does it do if it's in the offhand, I wonder? I thought there was a way to change this. I think you can change it from like different. No, no, that's the, there we go. That does work. All right, cool. Anyway, that was one thing I wanted to do. The other thing that I wanted to do was make this thing, the floodlight. So I thought it'd be super cool if we had a floodlight that like was pointing up to our, uh, up to our windmill. So let's go do that real quick. That'd be kind of fun. We'll come back and check on the, that, or I'm not sure if that thing is used. Those guys, those drive me nuts. All right. So to make that floodlight, I think we have most of what we need. Although I think I actually need some iron. Let's see. I got some aluminum. Yeah, let me grab some iron real quick. Um, yeah, so anyway, the other thing that I want to do today is I want to build a construction van or a construction pickup. I haven't decided. I always miss that thing. Um, and I want to do it with Create. I just think it would be so cool. So I watched a video. I saw something on Reddit, and then I watched a video. Um, some guy had made a like a truck or something. I can't remember what it was exactly. Um, but it got me thinking, like, it would be so cool to have, you know, add some life to our uh, our city here. I mean, our, our world here, and as we start to build our city especially, to add some life and see stuff moving around, right? Like, see trucks and trains and whatever moving around and so since you can basically build whatever you want with it i thought that would be pretty cool so let's see sorry let's make one of these iron components so what is that it is plates and copper i should have brought plates i'll be right back all right i had a couple of plates in storage so let's see if i just throw the stuff in here like this yeah i can make two of them now can i do i have to make two yeah, it seems like it takes however many you can make, which I've always thought was interesting. So um, let's see, I need one of those. What else do we need? One of those, one of those glass panes, some iron. Did I get enough iron? I did. And we need one of the, we need one of these wire coil things. Do I have any wire? How do we make these wire coils? Oh, just those. Actually, we have those. Okay, let's do that then. So one of those few of these we got that now oh perfect so we got it okay so and i think we probably need uh, we'll take some connectors just in case all right so what i was thinking this thing's pretty cool so you use your hammer you place it down i'll probably i'll get a better spot for this this guy's got to go okay <laughs> he's gone all right so you put this thing down like this now you can adjust it so we can turn it left to right up and down so if you i think it goes like this let's see shift yeah shift to go the other way but then if you want to turn it you do on top or shift on top there we go so that's kind of pointing towards it and let's point it up a little bit it's probably back just a hair nope other way like that that's perfect so let's just see what that looks like i'm glad it's night so i hope it's not too dark you guys will kill me so come off of here directly to here and oh and then it needs it needs a lever doesn't it all right i got a lever bam that looks pretty awesome okay so let's check that out i think that'll look pretty cool for over here i love those things i totally forgot about it too and when i once i was messing around the other day just looking at stuff that i could make with uh immersive engineering i remembered and i think it especially looks cool with the shaders and the, the shadows it's a little glitchy but man, that looks really cool. That definitely helps kind of light this place up at night because everything else is nice and lit up. <clears throat> but that is, uh, but that's, that's cool. All right. So let's get on to the other things that we wanted to do. Oh, the other thing I did want to do is work on my jetpack, but I'll do that off camera. I think I need to get a better jetpack because this thing is completely useless. It, I mean, it, it it's really cool. It makes me want a better jetpack, but it lasts like for two minutes so anyway let's turn that off and yeah let's do this i'll sleep and get ready and then we'll come back and work on the uh the, the truck all right so let's just see what this is going to take oh this i think i might have shown it in the video already or else i'll show it right now um ryan wanted to buy some stuff from me so <laughs> this is what he this is what he had to pay and actually alex needed to buy something too so he threw something in but we got a an angry like a wolf head, I think, and then a bunch of half a stack of zombie heads. All right, Rye, what's the 
What's the deal? Well, so I'm going to give you a half stack of all these glorious zombie heads, plus my glorious angry wolf wolf of a head. What is your skin? It's like Steve holding another baby Steve. <laughs> okay. Ta-da! That's that's amazing. Uh, what's this? So this is an angry wolf head. Oh, Thank I love it. Before. Were you wearing that? That's really good. Okay. Yeah, I also... All right, give me the half a stack. I did. Just because I think this is tyranny, I'm just going to... You're going to have to mine all of these. I totally love it. It's vein okay, miner. Yeah. All right, fine. All right, are we good? Well, you didn't give me my stack of half of yet. Of, oh, there you go. Yum! Thank en- you, sir. Enjoy. Enjoy. We still don't have figured out exactly what we're gonna do with all of the, um, with like we do know that zombie heads are gonna be like a dollar. Zombie heads are gonna be our base resource, but we don't know exactly what we're gonna do after that. All right, so create. And we want a cart assembler. Yep, cart assembler. All right, so we need logs. Right, so, okay, so we got all that. I think we got enough, yeah, yeah, so we don't need a ton right now. Um, some logs, let's just get a few of these. And what else? Did we have everything? Piece of redstone, whoops. It's nice to be organized, it feels pretty good. Okay, so a cart assembler. Now, we put this down and let's go out here. All right, um, tracks. I guess we need some track. Uh, what is it? Wait, that should be right, shouldn't it? Rail, rail, sorry. Rail is what it's called. So we'll just go with the basic crap for now. Um, some more of those, some more of those, and get a little bit of rail. All right, that. I think the other thing we're gonna need is super glue. That's probably pretty important. How do we make super glue? A couple of slime balls, an iron plate, and an iron nugget. I think we can do that, so. We can get a nugget, we can get a plate, and we can get a couple of slime balls. Is that going to do it? I think this lasts forever. Well, actually, I'm not sure about that. Okay. Uh, And then we need a cart itself, I think. So let's make a mine cart. And there we go. So I think at the absolute base we can do this. We can put down a rail, a couple of rails. This look pretty cool. And then we can put a cart assembler over the top and then we can put a cart in it. And now probably gonna need, probably gonna need another lever. So let's make a lever. I think we need the lever to actually assemble it. And then like whatever, like any block, right? In fact, some cobblestone will work fine. So let's just grab a couple pieces of that. And then I think you don't, this has already got glue on it. So the very first piece is fine. So we go like this and then let's do this just for fun. Put that there like that. And then what I've heard is that these are entities. Oh yeah, it doesn't last forever. The super glue ends up being like an entity. And so it's better if you can use these chassis things, but let's see, is that what they're called? Yeah, I think it's these chassis blocks, mechanical bearings, linear chassis, secondary linear chassis. This does not connect to another, whatever. There's stuff, stuff and things that we have to deal with. All right, so. There we go. Now, if we push this, wait, did I, oh wait, I think I have to actually like push the cart itself, which I should have done it the other way. There we go. All right, so that worked better than I expected. So what if we, will it go around corners and stuff? And then I think if we push it back, yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. You can see it gets a little weird because it goes around. Okay, so then what if we unpower that and when it comes back around, will it stop? Should have made some power rails. This is the slowest, <laughs> slowest mine card ever. Why so slow? Okay, so it did disassemble it. That's cool, but then the cart keeps going. Okay, so one other thing then. 
if we do two of them, I think you can make like a linked train without having to actually link them together. So we need a little bit of andesite because I think we're out of we're out of our andesite alloys. Let's make a few more of those. What just happened to the uh, weird glitchy? Are these? Oh, it's nuggets. I always forget that. Okay, so we can make that. Let's see. So. If we make the cart assembler again, uh, we need another couple logs, get a few pieces of redstone, and make oops another one of these. All right, and then let's go ahead and make one of these while we're at it. So that's two more of those, and one of these, and let's make one of those. Because I think, and then we need another mine cart as well. All right, so we got a mine cart and all that junk. Okay, so now if we put a second assembler, I think that's not what I meant to do. You go back there or whatever. Okay, so put an assembler there and put one of the carts in that. And you basically just like load the cart into it, I think. It'll stay that way. Mm. Okay, things are getting weird. So now. If we do the same thing, but we add a couple more to this. So, like, let's see, put one here, put a piece there. I think we need to have both sides, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now if I assemble just one of them, do they both get assembled? Oh, they do. All right, will you work? Because some of the stuff I've seen with this is a little glitchy. I don't want it to be glitchy. And will it not turn? Is that too tight of a corner? No, it's good. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, maybe it is too tight of a corner. That's crazy. Like it wants to come back this way. Okay, that makes sense. It has to be at least enough of a corner for the thing to be able to get around it. Okay, that's fine. All right, so now what if we take this thing apart? Can we, we have to disassemble it probably, which at this point, what, you just break the cart? Okay. There we go. And it just leaves that in place. And then what happened to all that glue? Anything interesting? I think it just went away. All right. So now if we, okay, we've got these two cards. The other thing I just wanted to check was what is it like to link them together as a train? And what's really the point of that, I guess, too? All right. So, oh, that's cool. Creates an actual linkage. So now this probably yeah that's cool and that just gets like as long as it needs to get to keep man it seems a little laggy i don't know if that's the server or if that's oh it still gets all weird all right so we know something we don't want to do super tight turns at least if we're going to have like multiple carts and it gets a, a little wigged out that's understandable though okay all right let me play with this a little bit here's my idea I'm going to make, what I want to do is have, I'm going to widen this up, okay? So I'm going to widen this gate by um, two. So move each each side to the side. This will be five wide. And then I'm going to make a truck that is basically three wide, just as a starting point. And I'm going to make a road that comes out of here, goes over this way, around this little lake, and goes through what will eventually be the mine. I don't know if we've talked that much about this, but what's eventually going to be the mine colony over here. Um, so we're going to start mine colony junk out in this area. We kind of want to do kind of like half or maybe a quarter in this biome and then a quarter in the woods and a quarter over here. Um, or I mean, that's thirds, but whatever you get the idea. <laughs> the point is that we're going to like start it so that we can do different um we can do different building styles. So like maybe some acacia stuff that would be kind of in the in there and some stuff in the woods and some stuff out here. Um, and that would be pretty cool. It would allow us to build, you know, the different styles and kind of have them transition because I don't know if you guys, if you're familiar with mine colonies, you can build in a few different styles, which makes it pretty fun. Um, and if you pick, but you do kind of need, it's fun if you have a nice open space because you can really design your city. But if you have, um, if you're kind of more like scrunched together, it makes you be a little bit, or not scrunched together, but if there's not, if it's not as flat, uh, it makes you a little more creative in how you lay out the city. Man, the windmill's going nuts. 
I think there's something wacky going on. I'm going to have to check the server real quick. But anyway, so the idea is that if we kind of do it right here, we'll be able to play with different, you know, building styles. We'll have some of the tree houses that are for the forest types and some of the desert stuff. And then we can do basically whatever we want out here. But the idea is that I'm going to come around this little lake and then back over here. And then our city center, which is going to be right over here by where Ryan built the... Uh, Oh, there's another cool cave where Ryan built the the board, the board he, uh, that we used for – somebody shoot me? I think I was, like, super delayed getting shot. Anyway, so I think that we're going to have the city center right around here. We'll probably tear this one down. But what we're going to do is we're going to lay out some roads, and then we're going to start a build, building challenge. So the way we're going to kind of kick off the city uh, is by doing a building challenge where we all get a set of blocks that we can use to build. Oh, yeah. The server's really bad. Oh, man, my connection is atrocious. All right, that's going to get me killed. Anyway, let me go Let me go fix that. Let me see if I can re-log or see if there's something going on. But, again, the idea is that we're going to do a building challenge and all have exactly the same blocks and we'll build something. I think we're probably going to build a shop, like the first shops of the town. But All right, so I've done enough rambling. I need to get busy building the actual truck. Um, I'll bring you guys back in once I get a few things figured out, and then we'll kind of see where that takes us. But I will return shortly. All right, guys, things seem to have gotten a little bit better, so I just thought I would show you guys this guy because I totally forgot when I was talking. Actually, I just saw it hiccup again, so I don't know if it's, like, recording. But anyway, this thing, uh, I, I'm just belting everything directly into this drawer controller, so it's just automatically going into the system. I don't think I showed that before, but things would get stuck right here on the belt if they don't have a spot because I basically I have all the drawers locked, so it's just not going to auto-fill the drawers. Um, so if we have stuff that doesn't have a place to go, it'll just get stuck right here, but I've been watching it, and I think I've got everything um, with a place. So I just wanted to show you guys that. So this is just piping things out. It's crushing, smashing, pulling things out of there into this chest that's right over here. If you guys remember, this chest doubles for this uh, mixer. So if we alloy things, they'll end up in this chest and then they'll go into the system as well. Um, but yeah, this is it's slow, right? This will get backed up, but we don't use it that much. And honestly, this is not for efficiency. This is just for fun. Um, we'll we'll have more efficient systems later but I, like who i don't need it that quick right i'm just gonna smelt stuff after i go mining or whatever or, i mean uh process stuff after i go mining and then it'll be fine but i just wanted to show that this is kind of automatically piping into the to the storage system and it's really simple it's just the andesite funnel just like this right if you want to go off of a belt into something you just go into the funnel and then into whatever storage whatever uh, container you're using um, and then you guys probably are aware of this but like if i grab this and just hold right click and in fact if i grab this and hold right click on that block let's see if i take four if i just hold right click it'll put them all in right and actually they don't even have to be in my hand if i just right click they'll put them in for my inventory however if i have anything like let's just say i've got some of all of this right so i got some of that junk in my inventory if i just hold right click on the drawer controller it'll just put anything wherever it's supposed to go so if you guys don't know how the drawer controller works that's how it is um, it just puts stuff that's already has a spot now if we were to unlock something so take one of these keys let's see if this proves me wrong if i right click i guess that's not true i thought i think if you do this let's try this if i throw that thing on the belt and i think yeah it's right there okay so it's going to put that in and it's going to try to put our uh whatever that is minecart coupling right so it's going to try to put that in and it's going to put it right there because that one was unlocked right so it would basically autofill your system if you if you wanted it to if you want to be able to like set stuff up yourself then you have to do it by locking it and then putting things explicitly where you want them to go um, so and the other thing about locking it right is that if i take everything out it still holds that place so that i can put stuff back anyway I just wanted to show that. I haven't done actually any work on the cart yet, but <laughs> I was messing with this just trying to make sure everything was still working well. And it seems like it's okay. Sometimes We kind of get backed up up there sometimes, but it isn't getting backed up down here. And I think really one of the keys to that is that this is sped up quite a bit um, and these things are slowed down. So anyway, I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. And I was just going to grab a chest. We're going to run a quick test. Um, things are getting pretty dire over here. I've got like zero gold. I'm getting low. I did, went and did a little mining to get some iron, but it's getting it's getting pretty bad. I don't even think I have a button. We're going to need a button. Um, let's see. Actually, you know what? Let's just grab which one of these is stone. There we go. All right, we'll get a button. Now, let's go check this out. So 
I built a truck. It's kind of derpy looking, but I like it. I actually, I went and looked online. I didn't even know how to start. I mean, I actually kind of knew how to start. I put down some wheels and whatever, but um, I went and looked online at a couple of different trucks and I put some different ideas together. I kind of like it. It looks like it's wearing a baseball cap, but that's not horrible. It's not the worst truck I've ever seen. All right, we're going to run a test real quick. So let me just show kind of what I've done and what we're going to do here. So let's, first off, we're going to fire this thing off with, well, let's do it over here. We're going to fire this thing off with um, a redstone what are these things called? Redstone link. So this is from Create. One of the things I love about Create is most of the stuff is cheap. Like it's easy to make. All of this stuff was actually really cheap except the those right there, those controller rails. Um, they're basically the same as powered rails except um, they take, instead of redstone, they take that, whatever that thing that Create uses, Create rail, this thing here. They take these electron tubes, which aren't that bad, right? It's just a little redstone or whatever. They're a little more expensive, but I used a few of those, and those are, I mean, I have, I'm have i low on gold, especially after I've updated or upgraded to this electric jetpack. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. Let's just use, it doesn't matter what we use. We're going to use a piece of dirt as the frequency. In fact, we're going to use dense, dense grit dense grit dirt okay so the other thing we want to do is put that down there i've been just testing it with a button but i want to get a little more advanced with you guys so we're setting the frequency whatever item you put in this in these slots that's what like links the frequency which is kind of cool just gives you a way to have a lot of different frequencies but okay so this should send a redstone signal to this card assembler um, which is going to assemble this whole thing and start it moving so it's got one of the let me just talk about this real quick and then i'll show you guys it working but these controller rails uh, these analog levers which are also uh, from create those things are cheap they're just a stick and a andesite casing i mean relatively cheap um, but you can actually set the strength so if you go like this that's more strength i think like 16 or 15 is like a full redstone signal like it would be with a regular lever if you shift right click you can tune it back down so i'm setting these to two so that when it comes in what i had trouble with is that when they would disassemble this cart would just kind of keep going a little ways now i've got it to where if i set that to one on the incoming actually this needs to be one as well um, then they slow down enough to where these kind of stop i'm sure there's something i'm doing wrong but um, this one is set to three and so this kind of goes a little bit slow same with that one and then over here um, I got it to where it's, there's just actually normal Minecraft powered rails. So it goes fast and then it slows down at the corner and I'm actually just having it do a loop right now. I didn't even, I didn't even get rid of this fence cause it'll go through when it's in, it's like entity mode when it's in like the, uh, assembled mode, it'll just go through blocks, which is what allows us to have dirt and stuff here. Right? So all I did to build this is I used glass panes to connect from the card assemblers up. And so we're buried down two blocks. And our, our track is all two blocks down, right? Which makes sense. And the card assembler is yeah connected with glass. In this case, it's a slab here. So this doesn't even have to, like this won't show at all, um, which I could probably do here, but then I wouldn't get this, which I kind of liked. We'll see, I might mess with that. Um, anyway, the point is you don't even notice it. Um, let me sleep real quick. All right, it's day again. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a button right here. And I think that will just fire it off. We'll try that. So what's going to happen is it's going to get the, the, the one thing I don't love right now is that when this thing gets powered, these rails, there's one underneath it, which kind of fires it off. And this rail, they get powered at full strength. And so it kind of like jerks to a start a little bit, which is okay. Like somebody that doesn't know how to drive a clutch or whatever, right? So it kind of jerks to a start and then slows down a little bit. Um, the other thing that I didn't love, I, this is pretty cool. I thought this was a cool bumper, but I don't have any way to actually attach it. So I don't know if I'm going to leave that or not. It looks really cool from pretty much all the angles, except for right here where you can see and you know obviously just some like cherry buttons or whatever so the way you do this i think we talked about it but you can uh, something else i learned while i was doing this you can hold the super glue in your right hand so whenever you're holding the glue you can see the where the glue is um but also if you're holding the glue in your right hand and then you like place a block it automatically glues that block which is really cool um so that makes it easier to build but the other thing is if you hold this in your right hand it just like it uses whatever tool you have so like you can do things like press the button or whatever or you can you know fight mobs which is really cool so it gives you some extension it's not like reach uh, like block reach but it's pretty cool so anyway i've been using that a little bit just messing around but i wanted to show you guys that you can put it in your offhand which it says increases distance of items used in the main hand when it's in the offhand which i didn't notice earlier but okay so let's do this um we're gonna fire it off for its maiden voyage oh no one more thing 
I wanted to just put a couple of items on here just to make sure that this works the way we expect it to. So if we put a chest in there and just put a couple of blocks in. Okay, so this thing's gonna, oh, no, wait, we can't do that. That's not good enough. I forgot to glue it. So let's glue it. I think if I place it now, there we go. So now it's glued. Now we'll put some of these items back in, get rid of the glue, and now we'll try it. Total fail. Why did that not work? Did it fire the redstone signal? It did fire the redstone signal. That did not do what we expected it to do. Why does it look like that's powered already? Oh, because it's being powered by that. Okay. It still doesn't quite seem like it's going to work. Oh, this this fortune pick is a pain because it turns all gravel into flint. <laughs> okay, um, so we'll put our analog lever over here at strength one. Or what did we have it? Yeah, strength one. And that's not got that power. Now, I don't know if this is going to do anything, though. Hmm. Let me figure this out. All right, guys, so I'm sure the face palming is real, but... Um, I, I always forget to hit control. I always hit shift, but when you hit control, it tells you more. So I had it right as far as how you set the frequency, but when you shift right click, it toggles between receiver and transmitter mode. That took me a lot longer than it should have to figure out. So I made a couple of these like powered latches and toggle latches, which are interesting, but we don't really need them right now. They did not help. So if you shift right click, it's set to, to receiver mode. So that was the whole key. All right, so let's do this. Give it a shot. All right, there we go. So it starts out a little quick, then it slows down. That's not too bad, though. It's not, like, really jumpy. Then it just makes, like, a slow turn. Yeah, it does, it, like, it drifts a little bit. kind of looks funny. I could probably adjust that, but I don't mind. Like, it's Minecraft, right? Like, they're not supposed to look really good. I made the gate a little wider. I guess what I'll do is I'll turn that um, post right there into the drawbridge and have that be where we open. Or maybe open from this side, actually. Um, but there we go. Okay, so it came back, and that was actually super smooth. That was really, let's watch that one more time. I wasn't really paying attention, but that looked really good. I don't know if it has to do with how this is, I don't know. Cause I've just had, I've had bad luck. Maybe moving that to the other side helped. Um, but like even the last time I ran this without the, the chest, that looks so cool, I think. Um, anyway, it kind of like came to a halt with like, a, it was a little jarring. Let's see what it does here. So it's nice and slow and then it slows down a lot. It kind of looks like it's parking. Oh, yeah, see, it does. It kind of makes a little jerk there. And see how those kind of just drift a little bit at the end? They kind of come to their final resting spot. But it's working. And all of our stuff is still there. Okay, cool. So we can fill this up with some chests. I'll try to figure out what I want this to look like. I kind of thought maybe I would, like, build, like, a bigger thing on the back um, to make it look like it had, like, you know, like a ton of stuff. And then how cool would that be? Like, we'll just fill this up. I mean, it's not the most efficient thing, right? Like, I totally get that. We could move stuff with ender chests or whatever, but it'll allow us to, I mean, it's just fun, right? So you like, you get ready for, you know, whatever building you're going to do, you put a bunch of junk in here and then you send it off. And I mean, we'll still use our like remote terminals and whatever, and we'll still be doing all that, but at least we'll have stuff just kind of hanging out, driving around the world. Kind of what I was thinking is that I might try to set up something interesting here. So let me show you this. So we're going to make a road. I just was messing around with like soapstone and some basalt. I don't have a lot of resources, so it's not great. Um, in fact, let me change this out. Um, it's not amazing, but I was thinking that like we would make a road and it'll go kind of through here and wind up through there around this river. I think we already talked about this around this lake and then over there. And yeah, it'll, it'll be all right. I mean, it's not going to be the best thing in the world, but um, as far as the road goes at, at first, but it doesn't need to be. I mean, we're not going to see that much out here, and then we'll we'll make it better. I think, you know, we might put some stairs to make it look like there's a gutter on the road or something. But what I was going to say is what we might do is just kind of have this thing running um, all the time. Now, I haven't tried it, like, leaving chunks and stuff yet. I don't even know what that's going to do. If we need to, um, we'll just we'll load some chunks and, like, you know, along its path and make sure it works. But I'm going to try all that stuff out, um, try to get some of this going. And then hopefully what we'll do, I, I think you will, we got a surprise for you guys. we got another challenge video. Um, and if, uh, if I can get this done, if I can get this like road going, I have to get a lot more track. So that's going to be the big, but so I'm going to go do some mining. If I can get track run all the way over to uh, the city center, we'll use this in the next video um, for our next uh, challenge video. Anyway, 
All right, guys. Well, it's not, like I said, it's not perfect, um, but I do think it's pretty cool. I love seeing this thing driving around. And I, what I was trying to say is, and I don't think I finally ever said it, which is that I want to have this thing just running all the time. And then maybe we'll have a way for it to stop, you know, like on a timer, it'll stop for a little while when it gets here and then it'll go back and forth and just kind of run all over the place. And then if we want, we can flip a switch and make it stop so we can load it and then have it, you know, send it over to the other side. We'll figure out what, well, I don't know what the range is on these. It says it's not it's not super far, but it's not too short either. It says uh, it's limited, though reasonably far. So I don't know what that means. We'll figure out what that means. Might be configurable, but anyway. All right, guys. Well, we did some stuff today. We got kind of what I wanted to get accomplished, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really excited about the truck. I'm really excited about this. I think that having the uh, having the windmill lit up is is pretty cool. So we'll end with that. And, oh, I wanted to show this too. I forgot. I added these little uh, valve switches. They don't do anything, um, but they look kind of cool. It's like they're, you know, for, for one of the, like the irrigation system. I just thought that was a nice little touch. It adds a little more color. And so things are starting to come together. I love that. I think we'll leave with that as the, uh, as the final shot. So thanks for watching guys. Um, tell your friends, you know, give us feedback, help us grow, um, through your comments, just letting us know what we can do better. And if you guys have any suggestions about how we could share the videos or get more exposure, that would be awesome. But thanks again for watching until next time. We'll see you later. Bye.